All right, this uh, just to pick up after our next session is is going to be um, creating a basic template with it, and we're going to mimic the navigation bar, and we're going to copy that. Make sure the navigation is 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 perfectly before we move on to the next one with it. So. Here's what I'd like for you to do. We're going to create an, a fictional e-commerce website on this thing right now. So I'd like for you to click on the today's date that you created as a subdirectory there you, that you created in with as well. I, I'm going to close this colors. All right. Uh, before we close the color, I would like for you to just come back to this and make sure you put a link on uh, on here somewhere in the body uh, that takes me back to the index page. I'll let you do that. I'll handle that in here with it. So please, please have a link from here back to the index page. This is this index page right here. So navigate back and forth. Don't forget to do that. Every HTML document that's linking from the index page to any page that we do. I would like for you to have a link coming back to it as well. So I'm going to close this color to HTML exercise that you just did with it. That's fine. I'll save this the way it is with it. Click on that today's directory, that the same directory as the color. I don't mind. If you want to use that, that doesn't matter with it. But here's what I like for you to do is to go into this thing and we're going to create, um, uh, uh, click on that folder. Make sure you expand it like I just did right here with it. And you see this little, little icon that says new file has a little plus. You can please click on it. I'm going to please name it template, lowercase, template1. So .html with it as well. So we're going to do the same thing as the previous one with it. But uh, let's go ahead and put our skeleton in here. If you remember what our skeleton was, you go in and just do your doc type with it tab. And this should take you a few seconds to, to crank this out. So our next one we're going to do is what the HTML right tab that close that off enter and then you come in you do the head right and do that and then why sure why not let's do the title while we'll add it tab that close that off with it and and I'm gonna call this um, e-commerce just for um, template that's the name of the that's the name of the template and inside, after our, our head, we're going to put our body tags in here as well. All right. So this is your basic skeleton that we're going to start out with today with as well. Now, um, as I roll this out, okay, this is important that how we uh, how we roll this out. And this is a fictional e-commerce website. Um, when I was teaching IMED 2409, which is an e-commerce class, we code more in the shopping cart. Uh, about five, seven years ago with it, but now the shopping cart's been really easy. It connects with your, your your bank institution and just it's a lot more secure than it is now than five, ten years ago with it. So um, at this point right now, let me let me uh, I'd like for you to come in uh, and think about some of the tags that we've been setting up in here with it. Excuse me. Let me let me pause this for a second. So let me go ahead and continue. We're going to create a fictional um, e-commerce website. Let's say you're selling a product or a service with it. Just three simple links with it. I'm in the body of the tag right now. So I'm, let me come in. I'm going to open up the an anchor tag space and h hyper reference. Let's notice my IntelliSense kicks in. I want to, I want to create the first one. that's called home. This is our home, and we're going to, I'm going to link that to an index.html. We haven't created this file yet, which is pointing to itself, by the way. And we can close that off with it. Uh, the name of the link is home with it. And what I like to do is to give it some spaces in between with it. If you remember, what was that space that we, we did with it? it? Was what? Ampersand N B S B, right? Uh, or N uh, NVSP, uh, that's one space. And if you want to give a couple of them, that's fine with us. Well, so let me do a couple of them uh, if I want to. Like, let's do like two or three of them after this. That way it has kind of like a little cushion, like three spaces there with it, right? And that's one link with it as well. So I, I'm going to have a home, and then I'm going to have that moved over in a second here with it. And I'm going to use what's called pipe, which, uh, which if you do shift and a backslash, has a little vertical line with it. I want to give it another three lines, three spaces in between, let's say, with it. 
just to um, have after that. Okay, and then I want to start it with another link in here as well with it with another anchor link with it. Uh, this time href equal to another page. I say I'm going to call products. All right, I haven't done the products.html page yet. Right, come over here, close that off, and this is going to be the link's going to be products in here with it. Um, Let's say you're selling any of your products in here. It goes to the products page with it. I close off that link. I'm going to give it another three spaces before and after it. Right? This is the space that I would would look at with it. So before and after, I have a little cushion uh, with that closing off the anchor tag. Here's this is the closing off of that. So it just word 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 wrap it. Uh, in down in between with it as well. So let me see if I did that right with it. So let me do. There we go. So that way, that kind of captures that little uh, three space before, three spaces after that vertical pipe. Three spaces before, three spaces after the vertical pipe. And then I want to do another uh, link with it. Control A, uh, H R E F. Uh, my IntelliSense kicks in. I like to use the IntelliSense with it. And that actually puts in the quotes for me. And the last one is contact us. That's a simple link coming over with as well. And that closes it off. I'll just leave that the way how it is. Remember now, we haven't we haven't coded this yet. So we haven't create the pages. This is the template, that's what we're doing. Contact us. All right. So this is the page, this is the anchor link with it. Control S. Let me save this. Uh, let me show you what this looks like behind the scene um, with with the browser. That's what we have with it. So this is in my template directory. Um, move this up here so we can find that file. Here's my template one. It looks like this. Can you see that? This time has it has the home and space. Of course, if you notice how this extends the hyperlink with it, it kind of bumps it over with it, and that's okay. I, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to have to remove it. So it, it says here I want I need to move this anchor closing of the anchor link. I need to move that after the home. The letter E, because it's underlying the the space in there as well. So I, I just move that over because I didn't I don't like that underscore uh, that link with the white space there with it. So I'm going to save this. Make sure you control S saves it. Come on over here and refresh that, and that kind of disappears with it. So if I click on any of these links out, it's going to be broken. Realize that because I haven't created these pages yet. I just I, I want this to be a perfect link with this. Well, matter of fact, this is not perfect. This is kind of like skewed to the left. It's not responsive. That's okay. We're just getting, I'm um, trying to demonstrate a concept with you right now. So let's say I want to center this thing right now. That's okay. So let's center all these links right now as I will put all of this under a center tag. Okay, align that center and closing off the center tag. How's that? Okay, so this this actually close off the center tag. I, well, I took that off with it. Let me t let me move the center tag over here with it, like that. Okay, and I save that. I want to center this entire navigation with it as well. Control S saves it, and then I'm gonna come over here, refresh this. That moves it over to the center, more aligned to the page. So I have home, products, and contact us. Now, let's say this is very important. I cannot go into this thing and and put in any or mess with this once this template's perfect. The only thing that would change is I have to if there are three links, I would actually create three pages in this case. The three pages are index, product.html, and contact us. All right. So if you look at contact us, the way how it's written, I need to put an underscore underneath it because it's the name of file, and I'm going to do .html. I don't want to put a space in any of my names in there. All right. So if I have contact or contact us with it, either I take out a space or I put an underscore. 
a lot of UML language has issues reading spaces in the address in the name of the file. All right, so this is how it looks like right now. Um, it has products. Again, this is a continuation word wrap down here is the HTML. All right, so Control S. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. This is a template HTML. I'm going to do File, Save As. The first file I'm going to save as is called what? Index. HTML in that same directory is what I did with it as well, right? That's one. The second file I want to do file save as is called products, plural, products with an S, HTML. The third page I'm going to save as is called contact us. Make sure you know how to keep that contact. Contact underscore us us.html. Okay, so I have I have three page for three links right now. I haven't done anything with it. Let's open up those pages. Here they are right now. So let's look at hit index, and then we got products. I just open here, and then we got contact us. So here's contact us. All right. So I got here is again. I, I moved over and I kind of bumped at one of them. I think. Let's try this again. Here's our template. Here's our contact us. Well, let's change a little bit about our body in here with it. So let's say you come in here and do a body tag, uh, h1 tag. How's that? Header tag for a title call. Let's call this thing uh, contact us. And you want to align that at the same time. So let's do center, closing that off. All right. So I'm going to move the content of that in between the center to center tags with it. Cool. Control S saves it. Right. Matter of fact, why don't I do that? Why don't I just, why don't I just grab that line that I just did for H1, uh, center, the whole thing. Just copy it with it. I'm going to come over to uh, my next page that I'm going to do is the index. And I'm going to paste it between it. And I'm going to just change that to, of course, this is the index page, right? So you're going to have a welcome message. Welcome to my e-commerce website. Okay? It's like a welcome message because this is your first page on there. Control S. The other page is, uh, that we're going to do is a product page. So you're going to actually come in with it. And you're going to paste and replace that for the word products. Okay. Control S saves it. Okay. Now, let's look at this, all of this. Make sure you save all of this. This doesn't look like it's saved, so I'm going to do Control S saves it. So once you save everything, there has to be an X on the top. If you don't, it has a little circle on there as well. So I'm going to save all my documents. And here's what I want to show you is this. I'm going to open up the index page. This is what it looks like. So this is your index page, which is your home. You agree? I'm going to go from home to products. I'm going to go from products back to home. And from home back to over to contact. Contact us back to home. And you notice that the navigation stands still. So I'm going to save products to home, what changes the content that changes with it. So you're changing out the page, but the user feels like he's staying at the same page. All right. So this is the illusion that you want to allow people to think that they're in the same page and not leaving the page. Very critical thing is what you don't want is this entire navigation to jump around with it. All right. So be careful on how you build your websites with it as well. So this is the exercise I want you to do with it. So if you want, take a screenshot of this thing and, and link. Make sure you link from your index page to your home page. Of course, always have you know, a link at the bottom or somewhere in here back to your um, back to your um, index page from here. All right. But I want you to be. This is Design 101. All right. Before we get to the Cascade style sheet with it, here's the problem with this page. Well. Realistically, this is what we used to do about 15, 20 years ago. This is what when they designed web pages with it. The problem is that now, nowadays, that people don't don't do this because web pages grow to about 300 to 500 pages for a corporate company with it. This is a, not a very practical way 
to create a web page with it because when something changes, content changes, a font changes, you have to manually fix that individual page. And it's very labor intensive to find a needle in a haystack. But for five to ten pages, it will work with it as well. All right, that's it for this section.